Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This is your girl, Eating with Food for Thought, Roberts. And I'm coming to you with another video on Thanksgiving Day. And this is a yam video. I got all my stuff set up. I got my coffee. I got my water. I got my tea. I'm just trying to keep it moving and keep it quick. My son just called and said he on his way over to pick up the rest of the food. So I got to have it ready to go. First thing I'm going to do, first thing I did, do one more quick check. There we go. That's much, much better. I'm getting ready to peel these potatoes, but I got my butter melted. I got three and a half sticks of butter. I'm pulling out all the stops. It's Thanksgiving. No hose bar. So I'm just going to add some brown sugar. Some people don't use it. I'm not that person. I like it. So I use it. Okay. So this is um, a cup of brown sugar. So I just measured up. <clears throat> White sugar. We want these good, sweet, and flavorful. Layers and layers of flavor. Oh, well, what the heck? A cup of um, white sugar. Set this up here. And I'm going to give this a stir. See all that butter? Butter, 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 butter. The more butter, the better. As Paula Dean said, everything tastes good with butter. That's my girl and I miss her. <clears throat> okay, we got the brown sugar, the white sugar, and the butter going on up in here. So I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes. And I'm going to peel these potatoes over here. Okay, let that cook. I'm going to get these potatoes peeled. I already got them boiled. I had to boil these potatoes and let them cool all the way down because I cannot handle hot, hot sweet potatoes or yams. Can't do it. So now I'm going to put it over here. I have my little trash bowl. In the sink because you guys know I always try to work from a sink because I'll be messy so this is probably going to take me about hmm, five minutes so if I had some holiday music I'd play it for you guys but I don't but we'll be right back when these potatoes are done Five minutes, and those potatoes are peeled and ready to go into the pan. So, this is going to be quick. The next thing I'm going to do, one lemon. This is a uh, medium small lemon. Lemon just seems to enhance the flavor of your yams. If you don't care for a citrusy flavor, please omit it. Don't put it in. This is just how we like it over here. And if you don't have one of these citrus um, squeezers, better get you one. It'll save your hands. Okay, I'm just going to add this. Just pour it in. And that's it on that. It's just layers of flavor. Layers and layers of flavor. That's what you want. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cinnamon. This is cinnamon. I buy it in bulk. You don't need a lot. But I'm going to use at least two and a half teaspoons. 
All spice. Now you really, really better be careful with this because this stuff is no joke. It will overpower your dish. That's enough. <laughs> it's a little sprinkle of all spice. I'm gonna say that was probably a pinch or a dash. And then we got the vanilla. Gotta have that good, good. The vanilla in. Here's my vanilla. Water break. Nutmeg. Gotta have that nutmeg. Pre-ground nutmeg is cool, but I'm old school, and I like to use the real nutmegs, <clears throat> the real nuts, and you don't need a lot. <clears throat> this stuff is so good. Mmm, smells so good and wonderful. That's it on the nutmeg. That's all we need. Mm -hmm. Set this up here. Give this a stir. This smells good. I need to taste it first. Yep. All good and hood. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take these potatoes and get them sliced up. This is gonna take about maybe two minutes max to get these potatoes in. I pre boiled them so it won't really take long for these to cook. I sprayed my pan with some spray coating so they won't stick. And I'm going to bake these at 350 degrees uncovered in my oven. I've been trying to get set up to do this all morning. Dinner is in about another hour, and I'm responsible for the hands. They'll get them. And once I get these all in, I'm going to pour that butter, sugar, and spices over the jams. You don't want to cut them too thin. Maybe about that thickness right there, but not too thin. And they don't have to be layered perfect. Just get them in there. I just want to let you guys know, I just want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all the views and a big, big thank you for my um, dressing views. I have over 16,000 views on my cornbread dressing. I woke up this morning, saw that. I was like, oh my goodness. I was so, so excited. 16, over 16,000 and counting. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
I was reading some of the comments yesterday, and one young lady in particular, she was commenting on the dressing recipe, the dressing video rather, and she was telling me that I cook like her nana. And you guys just don't know how good that did my heart to hear that. Because to be compared to someone's nana, their grandmother, and stuff, that's a high praise. That's a very high compliment. And I am somebody's grandmother, and I am somebody's great-grandmother. So, very high compliment. And I, I can't remember her name, but thank you, thank you, thank you if you're watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Subscribe to my channel. And let's keep this eating with food for thought going. If you have something you'd like for me to make, I got you. Just leave it in the comment section. And I will get to it. Yes, I will. Rinse this out. Don't want to waste nothing. Okay, I'm done with these knives. These potatoes are ready for the oven, and they're only going to take probably about 30 minutes max. 30 minutes max. Okay, come on, y'all. Help me with this one. I got to lift it. Lift this up, and I'm going to pour this good, good all over this. Butter, brown sugar, white sugar, and other spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, vanilla. We just want it to seep on down. That's sitting that soft. This looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Quick, simple. And if you didn't get them call coded, it don't matter. They're going to bubble up. They are going to bubble up. So over here, this is what we got going on over here. This is what it looks like. It's going into the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. And we shall return with the final product. Be right back. Okay, we got about 20 more minutes on the potatoes. And I just did a little cleanup. And... Christmas is, today is Thanksgiving, Christmas is right around the corner, and people are still going to be cooking these same dishes for the holidays, at least I know in our house we do, the same dishes for the holidays, and if you haven't seen my dressing video, please take a look, you may be interested in it, the cornbread I posted that video. That's the dressing. That's the bread I used to make that dressing. And then, you know, the croutons. Just regular bread. I don't buy to talk about croutons. And someone was asking me a question about celery in the dressing. That's how I was raised. Celery in the dressing. Now, some people don't use it. But I do. Celery, cream of celery soup, cream of chicken soup, cream of mushroom. It's your choice. Or if you don't use it, omit it. Don't use it. Many years ago, 
I tried it and I liked it. I even like it in my macaroni and cheese, my dressing, my gravy. <laughs> I like it in my gravy and stuff because it just takes everything to a whole nother level. It's just different layers of flavor. Okay, Different layers of flavor, and it's all about that flavor, especially for the holidays. You want to make sure everything is good, good, especially if you in charge of that meal. I hope that what I'm doing is satisfying to everyone, or mostly everyone, but I appreciate the support that you've, you've shown me because I've only been doing this for what, maybe a month? At most, about a month. At most, you got the simple, lazy lemon pound cake recipe. An hour, you're done. Simple, lazy pound cake that I call addiction. Once you taste it, you'll know why. It's addictive. It's very, very addictive. And you have. <clears throat> Like I said, the dressing, the cornbread, that little pork chop video going on. I got the little mug bang with me and daddy. My daddy said, this is the daddy and daughter show. <laughs> I said, yeah, dad. Because every time he sees these lights go up, dad feels like, hey, let me go put my teeth in, put my hat on, change my shirt. What are we doing? What are we going to show the people today? That's just my dad. <clears throat> and like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Just hit the subscribe button. It's free. It don't cost you nothing but a click and hit the notification bell so that you can find out what I'm doing over here. So, these jams are just about ready. So, I'll be right back. I just want to share something with you guys. About three days ago, I hit my... 100th subscriber and I got a notification from YouTube telling me that congratulations you've hit 100 subscribers you're doing good keep up the good work keep up the good content keep it going and I was very very happy I just checked to see what I was doing right now and we're at 344 subscribers and that was like whoo about 275 people in the last three days. And I'm like, yes, yeah, I love it, love it, love it. And then I was looking at my dressing video and it has over 17,000 views as of right now, me talking to you. Over 17,000 views and still climbing because it's more than 17,000, it's over. And I'm very, very excited about that because that's the, when I fixed that dressing, that's the way my mom did it. That's the way my grandparents did it. And I watch, I pay attention. When I was a kid, she used to have me in the kitchen cutting celery, onions, bell peppers, never my brothers. And I hated it, hated it, hated it, hated it. I said, well, I got to do it. I said, it's the holidays. I said, I got to come in here and help and cut this. Just kind of like Henny Penny. Everybody want to eat the bread, but nobody wants to help prepare the bread. Well, I had to help prepare the bread. And now some of the things that she taught me in the kitchen coming up, I really, really appreciate it. Because my mother didn't have a lot of patience with me in the kitchen because the first time we did yams together, all she told me to do was take the, take the bowl and pour the yams into the pot. Half the yams went on the floor, the other half went on the, in the pot, and she said, get out. She said, I got this. She said, I can do this myself. She said, get out. I was glad she told me to get out because I wanted to go play. I was like 11 or 12 years old. We used, we used to play outside. We didn't have video games and things like that. We used to play board games and stuff. And she said, get out. But I appreciate my mother so, so much for what she has taught me, for what she did teach me when it comes to cooking. And like I said, my sisters, all my sisters, Tina, Tanya, Tracy, the three T's, 
They're all excellent, excellent cooks. Tina has a page here on YouTube. It's called B from San Diego. B from San Diego. So check her out. Look her up. She has good recipes. She has very good content. And now we're going to get back to the yams because they should be ready to come out. This is what you're looking for right here. Now this pan serves approximately 25 people. The first 10 may take them all. But this is what you're looking for. That good, good layers and layers of flavor. That's what you want. Pull out all the stops. It's Thanksgiving. It's the holidays. <laughs> this is a good recipe for Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, 4th of July, <clears throat> Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year's. It doesn't matter. Any time is yam time. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for watching these jams. Hopefully, I hope you guys can see me. Just one moment. Somebody's knocking. That was my goddaughter knocking on the door. She hopped the fence because <laughs> I keep my gate locked. And she hopped the fence. But anyway, thank you everybody for uh, joining in with me on this video. Don't forget. Check out the dressing video, the cornbread video to make your dressing, the macaroni and cheese video, and a host of others. Share this with everybody who you think may like it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so at this time. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And my 344 subscribers that have already subscribed, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Until the next one, which will be the roast beef and the prep for the dressing. Until next time, thank you and happy Thanksgiving to everyone and happy holidays from my family to your family. Thank you. One more thing. <laughs> My goddaughter slash niece is here and she said, you need an Instagram account. So she's getting ready to set me up an Instagram account. So I will be on Instagram too. That's it. I'm done. I'm going to turn off the videotape. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving again. <laughs>